Hello everybody, I am Just Lance, and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. One moment guys, had an itch. Anyways, um, no, I'm not celebrating my 50th birthday. The vid uh, title of this video is Celebrating 50, um, but I'm not 50 yet. Not for mm, about another 14 months. <laughs> Anyhow, um... No, I'm celebrating 50 because the other day I was on, you know, on my channel and I checked my videos and I counted them up and I had some like somewhere between 52 and 55 videos and I thought, wow, 50 videos. Um, shoot, I need to go ahead and I need to make a video celebrating that. So that's what this one is about. Celebrating them 50, those, those first 50. Anyways. So I figured, if I'm going to go ahead and, and celebrate my first 50 videos, I need to make sure that as much of my shave uh, gear is as close to 50 years old as possible. Um, I didn't want to go too far back past 50, so I was like, yeah, 40s, fat handle tag, no, 56 red tape, no. So I thought, hey, my 64 um, slim adjustable, no. So, I settled on a razor. It's an M3, which means third quarter of 1967. So, that's what, 51, 50, 51 years old. And it was as close to 50 as I could get. It's this one. This is my USA Gillette Knack. If you're not familiar with the Knack, the TTO knob is here on the neck. Spin it down. And it's got a quarter turn lock. Uh, this was given to me along with a um, number of other razors. You know who you are. I love this razor. Thank you. Along with the Slim Twist, which is basically the British version of the Knack. The blade in that is a Gillette Silver Blue, um, modern silver blue, um, and it's going to be its first shave. The soap is Fine American Blend which is a barbershop, however, it is in a mug, which definitely falls in that 50 year category. And it's this one, my 1960s Old Spice shaving mug. Oh God, I love the smell of that soap. Um, the brush, it's from my research, um, it's from sometime in the 60s. Um, the brush I'm going to show you, they were real popular in the 50s and 60s for barbers. And um, as far as I know, mine is a 1960s model. And it is a synthetic. Some here are probably thinking, oh boy, a 1960s, a 50 plus year old synthetic. Hope it's got a modern knot. It does not. It's got the original knot. And it is this one. This is, that's how it looks when it's up. The bristles, I don't know if you can see that, they're just basically nylon hairs. I mean, they're not super, super stiff. They actually, you know, got some decent give spring to them. He's, you know, a little springy, but got some decent give, decent backbone. I've only done test lathers with this. I've never used it yet on my face. And it is, I don't know if that's the right way up. I'll just slowly spin it. Slowly spin it. This is a Pureless, or Sterilized Pureless, USA Nylon Brush. This handle, it's all plastic. Um, my girlfriend got the brush and the Old Spice mug together for 40 bucks as a Christmas gift. Um, she knows she might have paid a little bit too much for it, but she was like, hey, you want an Old Spice mug? I got you one. So, um, that's the story behind the brush and the mug. Anyways, so, let's go ahead and let's get this shave underway. The water, trust me, is not 50 years old. By the way, I did have some blades that would fall in that 50-year category mark, but, you know, uh, they look like they look like they were teenagers going. You know, they look like a bunch of teenagers going through acne. They had little spots of rust on them. So, um, oh, and the aftershave couldn't use a barbershop scent without 
Pinode Clubman, which was a gift as well, and you know who you are. Um, anyhow, um, you know, it's not vintage Pinode, but, you know, it's been around for a very, very long time. Anyways, so let's go ahead, let's get the face wet, and let's, or let's get the brush wet, and load it up, and we'll see how this goes. I'm just loading the brush like I would any other synthetic. A little heavy on the water. Uh, okay, I'm going to add a little bit of water here to the top of the um, fine. There. All right. Let's see how it does. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to go back to the puck on this shave with this brush. Um, I did do some test lathers on my face once. The lather seemed to dry out rather quickly a little bit. So I'm going to load this quite heavy. So there it is loaded, guys. Let me wet my face. So I'll go ahead and this let that spill out over it over the side of the mug all right here we go um it ain't got the softest tips I will say that. Now, one guy on an eBay post that my girlfriend and I saw, he was selling a, the seller was selling one that looked just like this. One guy actually said that the tips seem to get softer over time. Now I don't know if they will because this is more of a display brush. Oh well, it'll at least give me an idea of what our shaving forefathers went through that use these. Now, if this gets too much of a pain in the ass, I'll, uh, go grab my Razor Rock 400. And it 
won't be quite a vintage brush, but it'll have that vintage look, you know. Okay. three days growth here. Figure I'd get this video out because here in a few days we're going out to pick up my friend, the one that's um, been threatening to kidnap my Corona ever since I got it. So, and you know who you are. <laughs> but anyways, so here we go. Told him if he was to do well. I mean, the application of the soap, um, I'm not, you know, hitting a bunch of dry patches. Um, Seem to apply the soap well. Soap's working well. You know, it's. I have a pure satin tip, and uh, I've heard it said that, and it's true when they say it, when you compare it with the modern synthetic knots, there's just... The more modern um, like your Plasoft and your um, tuxedos knots like that they definitely have the Satin tip beat as far as face fill goes, but and this brush, it's not. Super, super uncomfortable. It's not really that. It's not really uncomfortable, actually. One moment. Um, I don't know. The tips feel like maybe a real. I don't know. A little bit more intense than, say, a more brush. As far as the feel goes, as far as the scritchiness is concerned. Now I did, in the place I got the, um, my auto strop, my ballet auto strop, which I gotta get plates for, I've never ever used it, and my, um, I gotta get the, actually get the, um, feather spineless plates like you use in the, um, one blade core in one blade genesis because you can take from the earlier generation valets, you can take, or the first generation valets, you can modify a, a gym, regular gym blade. One moment, guys. Go back to the puck. Better. 
but uh, on my version of the auto strop you can't but it's all right um, so when I was down getting or when I picked up the blades I mean the two razors there were a couple of vintage ever ready brushes um, and one just it looked severely beat down um, it looked like it got rode hard and put away wet and um So I was like, no, 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 don't want that. They did have a Ever Ready brush that was in just beautiful shape. I should have got it. I should have got it and had it re -knot it. I didn't think about, oh, yeah, I could just get a new knot slapped in it. But it had the same... You know, it, it, it said ever ready, but it also said peerless. Um, sanitized USA nylon on it. So, cross growth. But, I was like, no, I want the razors. If I would have had the extra, I would have picked it up. It wasn't a whole lot, but, you know. Um, money was a little tight that day, so. I ended up getting two razors. But. It was sure pretty brushed. The handle was really neatly designed. Real neat design on the handle. Uh, not quite like a handle I'd seen before, but the rag took over and said, get the razors. And the bad was like, no, 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 go ahead, get the brush, get, the brush, get, get one of the brushes, get one of the brushes. However, the rag was a little louder. Nothing about it. it didn't catch me and cut me, but it caught me on the nostril. It's kind of body checking me, I guess. My uh, son, first week of school. Um, he's in transitional kindergarten. One moment. His teacher is really, really cool. She seems to truly enjoy her job, which is great. Happy about that. Um, seeing some teachers out there that's just like, oh God, another school year. Oh. But my son's teacher, she seems like she very much enjoys her job. And She was all proud of her class because my son's in the afternoon session, which means he goes to lunch as soon as he gets there. And um, it's for like four hours a day. But.
she was going on about how wonderful the kids did. And, um, for their first day, they were listening really well. So. And, um, you're close by where we live, they have an underpass, a pedestrian underpass, just for the school, that goes across the main road. Um, the main road that sets, that the school sets along, which is, really makes me happy, because Part of town I live in, we got really stupid drivers sometimes, and they don't always pay attention to that 25 mile an hour. And, um, I have to use what's called cycles. And plenty of traffic going the direction, you know, the main road. But not as much traffic going along the road that I would need to know when the light's green and I'm just, I love my son, he's a smart boy, but I'm not going to expect a four-year-old to tell me when it's safe to go. This last thing I need is for my son to get hurt, or me get hurt, or my guy Herbie to get hurt, or worse, so. Yeah, the heard stories of these early early synthetics drying out really fast. And this one is no exception, but A little dip in the water. A little dip in the bristles in the water. Seems to work quite well. heard that Colonial Razors bringing out their version 2 of the, um, what do you call it, of the General. And they should be releasing a double edge soon. Looking forward to that. I'd love to be a tester of one of those razors, but you know, in the YouTube community, I'm not really big yet. And it may never be really big, but that's all right. Anyways. Yeah, um, hmm. surprisingly close, comfortable shave, considering the brush I'm using. Um, gonna go ahead, cut away here, and rinse up, and we'll be back for the post. Or I'll be back for the post, so see y'all in a minute. Oh, one moment, guys. Yeah. Well, I figured... We'll see how bad the air, because there's a little bit of irritation. We'll see how bad it is. 
with the alum. Not too bad. Oh, a little bit of bite, a little bit of bite. Probably overdo it on the alum, but okay, you only live once, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would because you know I got a little bit of irritation from that brush because it is, I mean, it's just it's scrubby. I'll put it that way. It is scrubby. Um, so I'll go ahead, cut away here, and come back for the post. Hey everybody, that was a pretty nice shade. But, uh, yeah, nice and close. Head's good. Um, my thoughts on the products. The soap, fine soap. Always great. Always nice, thick, creamy lather. Um, had to work out a little bit more with that brush. But it, I got it there. Um, Old Spice Shave Mug. I mean, you got to have an Old Spice Mug in your den. Um, the Razor. Great shaver, wonderful head shaver, really nice, close, comfortable shave. The Gillette Silver Blue Blade, um, you know, if you've used them, you know how good they are. Um, they're one of my favorite blades, quite honestly. Um, the brush, um, it's not going to be one that's going to be in my rotation. It's a little scratchy, it's a little harder to whip up a lather. Um, it doesn't pick up a lot of soap at one time. Um, you know, it dries out quick because I mean those nylon hairs, they just don't trap the water like modern synthetic fibers do. But, you know, it was fun to use. I'll say that. It was a fun brush to use. Kind of neat little experiment. Um, kind of gave me a feel of what guys were, you know, what guys... Uh, how their shaves went when they used them back in the 50s and 60s. Anyways, so yeah, that's a shave. Anyways, let's do the post. Um, not going to forget this time. <laughs> yeah, when I got all everything cleaned up last time, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, wow, I never did the post. Side of the blade. Because those necks do have a little bit of overhang. Caught me on the side here. Um, I nicked myself somewhere on the by the chin due to lack of attention. So my friend Christian, being blind like me. Is kind of leery of double edged razors at first, which I could understand why. He is kind of like, uh, you know, he's like, no, I don't want to use the double edged razor, I, a safety razor. I don't want to cut myself. I'm like, have you cut yourself shaving? Yeah. Were you using a cartridge? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. You know what? I'm going to do a little bomb tonight. Nivea for sensitive skin cooling. Um, that synthetic, that nylon brush, I'll admit it, gave me some irritation. Um, a little bit more irritation than what I should have got. If I would have been using my Maggart synthetic, or either my Razor Rocks, or even my Satin Tip, um, where my AP Shave Co. Tuxedo Knot. I wouldn't have got type of irritation. Wouldn't have got it off my badger brushes. Wouldn't have got it off of either, any of my, board, you know, either of my board brushes. So, if you find one of these brushes like the one I used tonight, um, and you want to use it, that's great. I had to clean mine because. I felt like it had a layer of nicotine on it when I got it. Um, 
it needed some cleaning. Um, the bristles were very, very, very stiff. I mean, and they felt just nasty and, and uh, you know, but they cleaned up quite well. Um, some Dawn dish soap, toothbrush. You know, uh, used the Dawn multiple times in just the bristle area. Cleaned it up nice. Now time to do, 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 do. Panade Clubman. Let's see if it burns. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like this after using that knack you know it only bites me like this when I get a little bit of razor burn or if I just over shave actually I need quite a bit of razor burn to get a bite like that and I gotta over shave or over shave it anyways that's the shave ah, love to smell that stuff anyways hope y'all enjoyed it um likes comments subscriptions always appreciate it you ever want to reach me via email, just lance59 at gmail.com, all lowercase, no spaces. Anyways, I hope you all have a good one. I'll see you all again as soon as I can. Like I said, my friend, he's coming out um, for several days. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, see you after after everything settles down around here. Anyways, y'all have a good night, and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.